Are you? The question of commercial passenger service is in the hands of the court right now, yeah, not the commissioners, not the airport authority. So since the commissioners cannot stop it at this point, what's the value of having an anti-commercial chairman sitting up there on the board? The value of having an anti-commercial chairman is you're going to have, like I said, five commissioners working together. Once we start getting our legislature to understand that we are together, that it's going to be a 5-0 vote on changing the IBA and the airport authority where they're not the same people, where we're... Um, going to our representatives and as a united group and telling them this is what Pauline County wants and this is what Pauline County needs, then they should start working to achieve those goals. If the courts do decide against Pauline County, I will do whatever the court says I have to do, but I will not go beyond that. If we have to fund them a certain amount, for a certain period of time, that's fine. That's what I have to do as a chairman, legally. But I will not go beyond that. There will not be the extra money that has been going to the airport authority like it has in the past. That will not be happening. They're going to have to stand on their own two feet. You know, well, that's really good to hear. Um, one thing that I'm looking forward to is, yes, I agree with you that the makeup of the airport authority and IBA boards needs to change. But since that can't be done until 2017, uh, early in the year, you as chairman would still be sitting on those boards. Yes. And what will you bring to those boards? The makeup of the board at this time is um, it's being anti-county in my opinion. It's, it's not being where the county has a say so that is in the benefit of the county of the citizens of the county I think uh, by my being on there it will be more of a 50 50 board where um, maybe there there can be some things that are in the benefit of the county citizens that are the taxpayers of the county um, that it's not I'm not for a county subsidizing a private business like this has been for the last several years. Uh, they should be able to stand on their own. And I will govern, be on that board and, and make sure that happens and make sure the citizens of the taxpayers of the county get their due benefit. 